Hi, I'm Thad Gabara, and this Blender video is entitled Bezier Shapes Rotated About a Bezier Circle. A Bezier shape is swept along a Bezier curve to create an object having an axis of symmetry perpendicular to the plane of the circle. The Blender startup scene is illustrated. Select and delete all components. Press NUM key 7 to get to the top orthographic view. Bring up the Add pop-up. Add a Bezier curve to the 3D viewport. The circumference of this Bezier circle establishes the path that a Bezier shape can follow to sweep out an object. Tab into Edit Mode. Scale the radius to about 5 units. Return to Object Mode. Bring up the Add pop-up again. Add another Bezier circle. Rename and refer to this second Bezier circle as the area. The area needs to be perpendicular to the circumference path of the first Bezier circle. Rotate the area 90 degrees about the x-axis. Go to Front Orthographic View. Select the first Bezier curve. In the Property panel on the right, select from the Vertical Tab header the Tab Object Data. Open the Geometry panel. Open the subpanel bevel if it isn't open already. The object position exposes the data block menu, which will indicate the area as one of the selections. Left click to select the area. Depress the middle mouse button to see the object from a different perspective. The object origin or center point of the area follows the circumference of the first Bezier circle to sweep out the torus object. Select the area and move the area along the x-axis until the area coincides with the torus object. The object origin of the area is in the center of the torus ring. Let me demonstrate that the object origin of the area follows the circumference of the first Bezier circle to sweep out the torus object. Grab the area and slide along the z-axis. Press 1 to move to front orthographic view. Press the Tab key to go into Edit Mode. With the control points of the area selected, move them to the left so they do not contain its object origin. Left click and Tab to go back to the Object Mode. Press 7 to move to the top orthographic view. Note that the object origin of the area coincides with the circumference of the first Bezier circle. It is the absolute position of the control points of the area with respect to its object origin that determines where the volume will be swept out with reference to the circumference of the circle. Press 1 to go to front orthographic view. Hold down shift and press the middle mouse button to move the torus down a few units. Grab the area and move it above the torus, placing the object origin about two units to the right of the z-axis. From the object tab in the header, select Set Origin origin to geometry. Scale the area to a radius of 2.
tab into edit mode. Zoom out a bit with the, the middle mouse. Go into wireframe mode. Deselect the control points. Box select the upper three control points. In the header of the 3D viewport, go to Segments, Subdivide. Deselect the components by left clicking. Let's select this control point and move it to about here. Select the control point and move it to approximately the same symmetrical position. Tab out of edit mode. Note the Bezier shape correspondence with the swept out region within the object. Bezier curves produce curves that generate very smooth turns. They were invented by Pierre Bezier in the 1960s for designing smooth curves in the bodywork of Renault cars.